Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a Nike factory store video. This is from MLK in Portland, Oregon. And went through the store. I did a little bit of video this time uh, per your guys' per your guys's request. So if you guys like that, smack the thumbs up button. I'm trying to listen to you guys a little bit. But I've been doing these Nike factory videos for three or four years now. Uh, and I've always just done pictures. I don't usually do video because uh, I don't want to draw attention more attention to myself than I have to. Um, and that's why I'm doing the audio over after the fact, but those are the pro stars. I ended up picking those ones up. I'll show you guys some pictures of these after, uh, but I was just kind of looking through. They didn't have the ones on the displays for these ones, so I was looking in the boxes, and you could see the 13 lows and the kind of the Bobcat colorway, uh, or Charlotte colorway, or whatever you want to call them, I guess. I don't know what the the right term is for some of those, uh, but, uh, but they had a ton in stock. They also did a smart thing. One thing that I appreciate from this store is they did um, limit one, so they, they weren't allowing you to buy all of them, um, I kind of like that, at least to start, because it made it so uh, I was able to go after a day or so of hearing that they were there on sale and picking them up. Check out these things. For $110, uh, that was a steal price point. I can't believe I didn't pick them up, because I actually had a coupon for $50 uh, off of a $100 purchase. So those would have actually only cost me $60, bucks. but I did not buy those ones, because I ended up buying these ones right here. It's a pair that I wanted in my collection, I just didn't buy them yet. And they were 130 retail 190 and this is the pro star colorway a lot of people suggested painting the green uh black on those and they look a little bit cleaner i agree uh with that but price point on these ones cost me 80 dollars. i did a video on these a long time ago already uh and then they also had these and i passed on these ones the cp3s 180 on these and i already have these so i paid retail on my other pair um but uh but 180 plus the 50 dollars off would have put these at about 130 which would have been a crazy crazy steal of a price but definitely had some pretty good deals the reason why I got this $50 off of $100 is because I spent like $100 there last time I went to the factory store and so because of that they give you like a little bit of a like a little coupon thingy or whatever a little card that says come back and shop between these days um, the next month and then so it basically makes it so you come back and, and visit the store which is a smart move uh, makes me want to go back and visit for sure especially with the um, discount. I did have another one that I didn't actually end up using. It was $25 off of $50. Kind of unfortunate that I couldn't actually end up using them. They have these, uh, these Spazikes there. This is, I think, one of the OG colorways. And they had quite a few of these in stock. I, I think the Spazike doesn't get enough love, personally. This was probably the biggest deal of the thing, though. I can't believe I didn't pick these up. I would have gone back and used the $25 off for these ones, because these ones are super sick. Uh, the quality of these Air Force ones were insane. And they had a ton of them in stock uh, for only $80. So those ones were definitely probably the steal uh, of the day, along with those CP3s and the, the Bobcats and the, the Fives. They just had a lot of crazy stuff, man. These are, look pretty cool, too. These Shox Turbos, uh, $80 in that gray and black and orange sort of colorway. And I, I don't know. I'm a fan of the Shox just from back in the day. Um, but anyway, I thought I'd show you guys just me walking through and showing you guys some of the stuff. Um my problem is when I when I go through and I just do the pictures, a lot of times they end up really fuzzy, and it's funny because the video actually does better um, than the images because the images sometimes uh, just are really really shaky. And I apologize. Twenty two dollars for these lunar one shots. Holy crap, dude! Uh, they had a ton of them. Twenty two dollars. I mean that is a bargain basement deal. I should have bought all of them and then sold them for forty five dollars online. I, that's something I would have done back in the day when I was in college. Um, I kind of had the Shuzium approach, approach sometimes. Those ones were $22, and I know that I could have probably sold them for $45 or maybe $50 and then doubled my money. But I would have charged everything on credit card uh, because I wouldn't have had any money. Uh, $130 on these uh, Air Force ones. Look at how dirty those are. Air Force One, white on white, fly knits. Um, they had a, a couple other things here. These ones look pretty nice. Luxury looking um, blazers right here. Uh, they look like some Nike Labs or something like that. I've never seen these ones. Uh, but I was impressed with the quality. And I was just kind of like thrashing around, finding stuff. They did have these. I already bought these ones, uh, as you guys have seen, in uh, 110 I think I got mine for 80 bucks or 70 70 something dollars. And then this uh, is pretty dope. The Flight Lights, I believe. And, uh, yeah, so those ones are pretty rad in kind of that hair Jordan colorway. Um, those ones, it seemed like they just went straight to outlets. I didn't hear anything about those. But um, Hashwell had some pretty decent stuff here and there. Uh, Air Max 95s. And price point was a little bit steep on those. I think it was like 140. I couldn't get it to focus. Print was too small. 
Weatherman, Katie's surprised that they had some of these uh, in the sevens. Uh, interesting sometimes running into those. And then what do we have here? A classic. A classic, classic for 140 Sheesh. Um, I wish I got mine for that price. I'm pretty sure I paid full retail for mine. But, uh, but man, yeah, you can find some random, random like gems like that on the back wall, especially stuff that might have been hyped up a little bit, but then the resale wasn't very good. So, like, I'm assuming stuff like Flyknit Racers and the multicolor colorway, we'll see some of those at outlets as well soon because, um, because people are just returning them. If they can't make their money on them, they get them and they just return them. So uh, that's some of the reason why you see some of these kind of random stuff in there. Uh, De La Soul Lowe's Dopeness for 70 bucks. They were cheaper than that, though, the last time I came to the other factory store. I think they were like uh, $45 or something like that. Crazy, I should have doubled up on those ones. I already have the other ones, though, so no need. Um, I mean, I have both of the, the highs and the lows. Just a dope shoe. People didn't really get it, though. Um, then they had these, too. Again, the Bogales. And in my size, the last time I went to the factory store, they had a size 9. This door had the size 10, but you see how it was all dinged up on them. And then on top of it, the price point was still $300. They, they didn't adjust the price point for some reason. Kind of butthurt about that, so I didn't end up buying them. Uh, but I did like those. And I already have the gold ones that I Nike ID'd, so uh, it is what it is. But kind of uh, unfortunate. I was hoping I could get those Pagale ones for like 100 bucks or something. I would have totally pulled the trigger uh, for like 100 150 They also had these there. Crazy that these ones are sitting uh, all over. They just must have made a ton of these. When they first were hyped up, like, it seems like a lot of people wanted to know what those ones were about. And then as soon as they released, it was just like uh, not very many people picked them up, it seems like. Le LeBron 13s and just some other random things. I'm just kind of scanning the wall. This is like real-time me scanning the wall as I'm uh, recording just so you guys can see uh, what I'm looking at for. And sometimes it's hard. You can see right there, there was nothing really dope that was in that one shot but like that's the, the fun of going to the, the store and just searching around and trying to find stuff those ones were 20 bucks for those and then they had a bunch of these boots uh 150 and then they were only 65 dollars so pretty good price for sneaker boots for chicks but uh but you know we didn't need these ones my wife didn't need them they had a whole bunch of different ones those ones are sick the iridescent look to those ones air max uh one mid sneaker boots um 65 though and then these ones are sick like these ones look kind of like the cinder uh, air jordan 14s that i used to have but they they were the retro and the they were only in the gs uh, colorway um but i really like those ones because those ones were like uh just a fun one if i was a kid i would have wanted those ones they had a lot of aquas again it's funny to see these things sitting as well because uh the hype on the aquas were just crazy um up until this last year everybody was like oh it's my favorite eight and then now they're sitting everywhere. Check out these little guys, um, the 89s. Um, and then, let's see here, just random little uh, Jordan baby shoes right here. $38 for LeBron Bronzo. They also had a ton of these in the youth uh, colorways, the Concord. Um, I think those are the Concord um, foam posits. And, I mean, they had a ton of them, just a bunch of different ones. Uh, as you can see, i just showing you guys just like a bunch more pairs up there. And then some uh, other pictures of just randomness. Uh, these ones, um, these ones are the spike spike joints or whatever. These ones were ninety dollars. Those I knew those ones would hit outlets. They just weren't overly dope for most people. Um, and then the CP3s. Another model that just gets no love is the CP3 Jordan meets Galaxy, but not the Galaxy that we would want to see. Um, kind of an interesting name for that shoe. It didn't make any sense, uh, but uh, kind of a weird look to that shoe. Kind of remind me of the twelve in a sense. Um, just for parts of it. And then the Jacquard um, Air Max 95s, uh, $100 on them. Black, it looks like a black air bubble is kind of interesting on these. Uh, kind of a cool colorway. Not one that I wanted to pick up, though, and buy. Uh, Jordan Flight 2015s, $65. Retail, $125. And this is why the picture thing doesn't work out usually, because it ends up so fuzzy like that. Uh, but $65 for these. Interesting. They kind of remind me of uh, the Air Jordan 20-somethings. Or 2009s, uh, or I don't know which ones they are, but you know what I'm talking about. That side kind of reminds me of those ones that ended up releasing. I'm not sure if I even have those ones. Um, interesting looking Jordans again in that hair colorway. Um, kind of a, the orange carrot like uh, soles with the red speckles. It's pretty interesting. The Air Jordan Instigators, these ones were $105. Um, and Jordan Rising High. So they had a whole bunch of Jordan, just random Jordans. Nothing too crazy, though, for 
the the people that like really are like collectors and stuff it's not stuff that they would necessarily uh go after but uh but it is what it is anyway running to the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoy the video and uh man uh they had a lot of uh randomness and some fun stuff and they even had some kobe uh 11s uh to finish out this video right here as you can see uh for 160 thanks for watching catch you guys for some more videos soon peace